All right, so in this problem, we want to find which of the following graphs that are given to us represent the two linear equations that are given. All right, now in order to do so, the first step that would make it easiest to understand the graphs would be to turn both of the equations into point slope form, which is y equals mx plus c. All right, now if we do so, we have in our first equation, we have y equals, we're going to move the y to one side and the 4 to the other. So we have y equals 2x minus 4. And that means that our slope, m, is going to be 2, and our y-intercept is going to be negative 4. And in our second equation, we have y equals negative x plus 2. I just moved the x, I subtracted the x on both sides. And now our slope is a negative 1, and our y-intercept is a positive 2. Now, the easiest way to speed up our solution to find which graph represents both of these functions um, would be to focus on one specific element at a time. Now, usually the easier element to focus on would be the y-intercept because you can easily look at the y-intercept to see which one crosses the y-intercept at the correct point. And if we take a look, we have to find y, a y-intercept at negative 4 and at positive 2. And our graphs are limited here. We can't see the y-intercept. We can't see points that go down to negative 4. But the only graph that crosses the y-axis the y at 2, at positive 2, would be graph C. All the other graphs cross the y-axis at different points that are not a positive 2. They keep missing the 2. All right, so that means that C is our correct answer, and that was an easy way of eliminating all the other ones by looking just at the y-intercept. Another way you could have done this was by comparing all of the slopes to see that all the slopes match two, a positive two, and a negative one slope, and you can easily eliminate the other graphs as well. And, that, and there you go, you have answer C to be the right one.